hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm back with another video and on today's video i'm going to be doing my makeup um so like i said on my last makeup video i really want to get back into doing makeup videos so today i have a makeup video for you guys on this makeup look i'm also going to be testing this new foundation by catrice this is the true skin foundation and it just came out i think about like three months ago this is like their latest foundation so my skin has been like really really dry lately so i wanted to like take a break from my um studio fix foundation because this one can be like really really dry like when i apply it my skin just gets drier and drier so i really wanted to find like something that was like hydrating and then i came across this foundation yesterday at this camp and this one is a hydrating foundation and it also has hyaluronic acid which is good for hydrating the skin so i'm really really looking forward to trying this out i actually tried it at the store because i was wearing a mask i did like a patch test here with a sample and it actually matched well but when i look now it looks a little bit darker compared to my neck so i'm just gonna have to like make it work and i got mine in the color warm cocoa on the website they say they came up with 20 shades but this can only have about 12 shades and to prime i'm going to use this catrice prime and fine uh spray this is a two in one it's a primer and also a setting spray in one bottle i'm just gonna spray this on my face and prior to this i did moisturize my face but my face like i said is getting like really really dry to a point that it's actually just like eating the moisturizer up and this foundation also comes with a pump which is a good thing i'm just pumping it on my hand here and i love the fact that it's like a little bit runny it's not as thick as my studio fix and to apply it i'm just gonna use my beauty blender and it's supposed to be like um medium to full coverage so as you can see it matches my face really really well but it's a little bit darker for my neck so i'm just gonna have to like make that work but i'm still gonna apply like concealer on top of that and my concealer that I'm going to use today is a little bit lighter. So that should balance well. So I'm just blending it with my beauty blender. And you can, as you can see, like the coverage is amazing. I actually love the medium coverage. I don't think I will add more. And it actually claims that it looks like skin, but better. So I love that about this foundation. Like it, and it feels like really, really light i'm not really applying a lot like i said it's just like one coat and it feels light like with my other foundations it's like really 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 like you can feel like you're wearing something and it's actually getting like a little bit matte which i don't mind it's just that it i didn't want it to look cakey which i think it's actually looking really really good And I feel like it applies better with the beauty blender than the brush because um, with the brush sometimes you can get like little strokes and this is just flawless. So I'm just gonna finish whatever I have here like around my nose because I do need coverage for that and on my cheeks. And then I'm just gonna blend it down my neck as well. What they say when they say looks like skin but better they mean it like this looks amazing i'm like so happy with how this is looking and next i'm going to highlight with a concealer and this is the la girl pro concealer and this one is in fawn and this one is a little bit lighter than the one i normally use i don't know where i left it but i normally use toast so um i thought this will look better with the foundation i don't normally use this one like i feel like this is like the skin time i'm using it 
um but yeah it will work they always work so i'm just applying it there and then on the other side so this one is actually like perfect for highlighting and the other one is closer to my skin tone so i also use it to like spot correct sometimes And I'm also going to apply some on my forehead and the bridge of my nose. And on my chin. And I'm going to blend it out with the same beauty blender. And then with whatever is left on the sponge, I'm just blending out my eyelids. And now I am going to set my concealer using this Yardly Loose Powder and this one is in Caramelized. Because I feel like with a damp beauty blender, it just sets perfectly. Take my setting powder so and just like do like a line under my contour and this is going to like guide me where my contour is going to sit like so And I'm going to contour with this Revolution Stick Foundation and this one is in F12. So I'm going to start with my nose because I normally forget to contour my nose before setting my whole face. So I'm, I'm just taking like this um, angled brush and taking some of the product onto my brush and then take it because this contour is like really, really pigmented. It's easy to blend, but it's better to go with a little product and just add if you need more. So what I'm doing is I'm just contouring the sides of my nose with this product and the brush and starting right on my eyebrow, going all the way down. And now to contour my cheeks, I'm taking the same contour and this contour brush and I'm doing sort of like the same step that I did with my nose, applying it on the brush and just apply it on this area here. Like so, it's like really, really pigmented. And I love how it looks it has like this bronzy finish to it so it's really really pretty so I don't want to add a lot I think that's enough
Oh no, I'm also gonna contour like my forehead a little bit here. Not too much. And then taking back my beauty blender on the concealer side, I'm going to blend out these harsh lines here. And I'm taking my powder brush. First, I'm going to brush out this powder here. And then taking my Maybelline Fit Me powder, and this one is in 355. So I'm just setting my whole face. And now I'm going to apply some blush and this one is Yardley in Sunset Safari. It's my new favorite blush. And I love the fact that it goes really, really well with the contour. Like it just bronze out my face. I don't need a bronzer after that. So I'm going to apply it on top of the contour. Like so. And I'm now going to apply a lot. Like I've been really really loving Patrice products. It's one of those brands that I never used to go to to be honest because I don't know it it just it wasn't like that popular like Maybelline or L'Oreal or Yardley or something like that. But like now I'm like open to it. Like it's one of the brands that if I go to this camp, I just like run straight to it and like see what they have. And I love this Sunkiss bronzer. And this one is number zero one zero. I use it as a highlight. It looks absolutely amazing. It's really really pigmented though. So I just add a little bit on my cheeks. Like so. I don't really love uh, like a lot of highlight. So this is like perfect for me. I feel like this is going to last me like years if I don't break it. So yeah, just apply it on my cheeks. It just gives like that natural glow like you're glowing from within. It's not like a strobing, stroking highlight. And then I'm going to apply some on my nose. And now I'm going to apply some mascara and this is Wet n Wild mascara and I'm going to coat like my top and bottom lashes with this. I'm not going to apply any eyeliner I'm just gonna go straight into my lashes and this is the Demi by Adele And now we have lashes down, I'm going to line my lips and I'm using this 
five slip liner and this one is by MAC. And then on top of that, I'm going to apply this MAC lipstick by Avon and this one is in the TB bag. Finally, I'm going back with my fine and prime spray and I'm going to set everything. And so this is the final look. And my final thought about this foundation is that I absolutely love it. So I'm hoping next time when I go to this camp, they'll have a shade lighter than this one. But this one still works. I love how it turned out. I love how it looks on my skin like it, and it actually works well with like my concealer and my contour it looks absolutely amazing i love it and i love the fact that i didn't do eyeliner today for like the first time in years this is the final look i love love how it looks so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you don't already and i'll see you guys in my next one bye